Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully go about resolving if you're having a network error issue or Windows cannot access a certain file or directory. So this should hopefully be a fairly straightforward tutorial here guys, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is open up the star menu. So just go left go on the star button one time. Type in control panel. Best match to go back with control panel listed right above app. So go ahead and left click on that. You want to select the network and internet option here. So if you don't see that, you just want to select the view by and select category. And then select network and internet. Select the network and sharing center and then select change advanced sharing settings on the left side here. Now on the right side underneath the private selection, so just expand that. You want to make sure turn on network discovery is turned on as well as turn on automatic set setup of network connected devices. And then underneath file and printer sharing, you want to turn that on as well, so turn on file and printer sharing. And if you had a home group option, so if you're on Windows 7 or Windows 8, you want to turn that on as well. And for the guests or public, you want to expand that selection. You want to set turn on network discovery for both of these. And then underneath all networks, you want to expand that. Select turn on sharing so anyone with network access can read and write files in public folders. And then underneath file sharing, connections you want to make sure it's set to use 128-bit encryption which is fine and then underneath password protected sharing you can keep that turned on you can alternatively try and turn that off here as well but just keep that in mind it might make it a little more difficult by having a password enabled but you can keep that enabled if you choose to do so so once you're done with that go ahead and select save and let's just say you were still having a problem and let's say there was a specific folder you're having an issue with here. So let's just say this new folder on my desktop is a problem. So we're going to go right click on that and then select properties. Select the security tab and then select edit. Select the add button. Type in everyone. Select OK. Now select the everyone option right here and then check mark where it says full control. So then you have a full column of allows there. And once you're done with that, go select apply and OK. And once you're done with that, select the sharing tab and select share. You want to go select the drop down here. Select everyone. Then select add. And then permission level, read slash write. You want to go click inside the drop down here. Make sure it says to read and write. And then select the share button. And then just go ahead and select done once you're done. And that's it. So you can close out of here. Restore your computer and that should hopefully have been able to resolve your problem. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. Do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.